सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू कंपलसरी एक्विजिशन ऑफ कैपिटल एसेट इयर ऑफ ट्रांसफर इज इक्वल टू इयर ऑफ कंपलसरी एक्विजिशन सो वॉट डू यू नो बाय दिस इयर ऑफ ट्रांसफर इज इक्वल टू इयर ऑफ कंपलसरी एक्विजिशन इयर ऑफ टैक्स द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज इयर ऑफ टैक्स इयर ऑफ टैक्स इज इक्वल टू इयर ऑफ इनिशियल कंपेंसेशन रिसीव हाउ टू कैलकुलेट कैपिटल गेन इट इज एफ वी ओ सी एफ वी ओ सी इज इक्वल टू द इनिशियल कंपेंसेशन दैट वी हैव रिसीव इनिशियल कंपेंसेशन रिसीव If you remember the format, FVOC minus fair value of consideration minus transfer expense is equal to net consideration. So now, since there is, they have compulsory acquisitor. This is a theory part. I'll teach the practical sum in the practice manual, so you'll get a better idea of it. First, I'll complete the theory. Uh, while solving the sums, I'll come back and show you what it is. So year of Uh, sorry a year of transfer is equal to year of compulsory acquisition year of tax is equal to year of initial compensation received fvoc is equal to initial compensation received less transfer expense so there is no transfer expense over here there is legal expenses but this part comes under income from other sources also so what to do they have allowed as at the rate of 50% deduction in legal in 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 place of legal expenses in the portion it is given the fvoc initial compensation is received for for the past 2 years uh, suppose 50000 you write 50000 over here less legal expenses so deduct at the rate direct 50% you deduct 25000 and the net consideration will be net consideration or oh sorry net consideration won't come directly it will come because no long term capital gain and no short term capital gain sorry no in no sorry 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 no no cost of acquisition no cost of improvement will come here directly it will come long term capital gain or short term capital gain if the asset is hold and for more than 36 months or 3 years so it is long term capital gain if it is less then it is short term capital gain so i am writing here the example you don't write it right now if you want you can 50000 stand standard it is deducted at the rate of 50% deduction as expenses so 50000 Into fifty percent comes to twenty five thousand. So just lo, it, assuming it is long term or short term, whatever it is, the capital gain is twenty five thousand. So this is the way how compulsory acquisition of capital asset is calculated. Please note it down. You will find the sum in the practice manual. I hope you have paused the video and copied down. now the fourth part the fourth part was conversion of the capital asset into stock in trade conversion of capital asset into stock in trade so what is what do you understand by this conversion uh normally assume the scenario normally assume the scenario that you have jewelry at home and you are starting a jewelry business you have you have transferred your capital asset that is jewelry into your jewelry business so how to calculate capital gain because since here the asset is not actually sold 
your understanding you have just transferred into your business you have not actually sold your capital asset so how to calculate there will be two effect first of all first effect will come in income from capital income from capital gain and income from business and profession because jewelry is a business and profession so how to calculate first see first let me divide the page into two first income from business and profession income from it is income from not if business and profession not like that income from capital gain i am writing the shortcuts you all write it full form i need to teach many things so i am writing shortcut i have already spoke what it is so you write it in full income from capital gain income from business and profession so how to calculate FVOC less transfer expenses will get net consideration less index cost of acquisition ICO is stands for index cost of acquisition if it is a long term capital asset or cost of acquisition if it is a short term capital asset less income eh, sorry index cost of improvement slash cost of improvement index cost of improvement in case of long term capital asset cost of investment in case of a short term capital asset then you will get long term capital gain or short term capital gain whatever the case it is uh now your sale less cost of sale that is fvoc FVOC of capital gain, then you will get PG BP income. This both are interconnected. See, now the uh, date on which you have transferred your capital. I'll solve the practical sum. That time you will understand. I am just giving you the. theory because this theory will help you during the exam time to recall you don't need to solve the sums also it is quite effective so i hope this much is clear first of all but i'm still explaining you what it is assume you have sold the assets for 2 lakh 50000 and the cost of sales is 2 lakh cost of sales is cost cost of sales cost of sales what do you understand by cost of sales the cost at which you have purchased cost of sales simply means purchase so purchase you have not actually purchased the assets are transferred into your business so the assuming it as purchase assume it as purchase and write the amount to like then the income will come to 50000 that pgbp income but in fvoc it will come here 2 lakhs less transfer expenses is index cost of acquisition and then you will get long term capital but there is a scene over here i'll show the i'll show you in the sum in the practice manual i am putting a star mark you also put a star mark over here and write sum of sum in practice manual write sum in practice manual pm i just write the sum i solve the sum and show you all you just after solving the sum write the sum number over here so that when you are reading this you will remember that i have solved this sum and you don't need to actually solve because it is a technique of remembering just connecting the parts i hope this is clear please copy it down i hope you have paused the video and copied down a small section to go section 50c what does section 50c says fvoc in case of land and building why only in case of land and building why not in case case of gold and all because land and building has a uh, has a characteristic of appreciation not depreciation so in case of fv how to determine the fvoc of the land and building in case two amounts are given in the question uh, the first value is the selling amount at which you are selling the land or building assuming rupees 5 lakhs or stamp duty valuation valuation rupees 
six leg. So which amount you have to take? The amount which ever is higher, that is rupees six lakhs, will become what FVOC. It will become FVOC. But after giving this much, again the question says uh, you have applied to the valuation authority that such amount is quite higher. I don't want to pay. I don't want to calculate capital gain by this amount and you have asked the valuation authority to recalculate and the valuation authority first of all you have to calculate this the first step is this the very first step is this right one over here the second step is stamp duty valuation to pay 6 lakhs or stamp duty valuation officer assigned value rupees 7 lakhs so whichever is lower will become whichever is lower that is rupees 6 lakhs will become FVOC assume that if this was 5.5 lakhs then FVOC would have become 5.5 lakhs okay just write with the I'm sorry I was not knowing I'm sorry I'm sorry see stamp duty valuation rupees 6 lakhs or stamp duty valuation officer assigned value rupees 7 lakhs then whichever is lower that is rupees 6 lakh will become FVOC or 6 lakh or or assume that the stamp duty valuation officer assigned value is rupees 5.5 lakh so then whichever will be lower that is 5.5 lakhs will become FVOC this is the second step you have to write the section 50 uh, before the sum if such sum is there I hope it is fitting in the screen right now please copy the entire section 50c pause the video and copy I hope you have copied. Next video continues the remaining sections.